Ever heard the old phrase, strike when the iron is hot? Well, it's never been hotter than now. All this month at Appalachian Wireless, you can get the Samsung GS6 or the GS6 Edge for just one penny when you send them for service. The Galaxy S6, normally $49.99, now just a penny. The Galaxy S6 Edge, normally $99.99, now just a penny. Strike now while supplies last. Better service, bigger savings. Serving you for the last 25 years at Appalachian Wireless. The Floyd County Health Department presented evidence of the rising threat of a hepatitis C outbreak to the Floyd County Fiscal Court Friday and the Prestonsburg City Council Monday, both of which passed resolutions in support of a needle exchange program. Officials say the belief that programs such as these enable the drug user is completely untrue, and without a program like the needle exchange program, the spreading of hepatitis C will not slow down. They're going to use no matter what, and what is happening is that they keep sharing. And, uh, and when they share needles, that's what is, is causing uh, the, the outbreak as far as the hepatitis C. Floyd County is projected to be at number 10 in the nation as far as uh, of possible outbreak or hepatitis new, new cases. So they're trying to get ahead of it right now. All the misconceptions the general public has about needle exchange programs aside, if these intravenous drug users do not feel they can come in and safely exchange their syringes without fear of incarceration, they will not come. And if they don't come, the program cannot work. We don't plan on turning anybody in that shows up in the parking lot unless they are and talk, you know, show evidence of being under the influence. We are also going to reach out in the next couple of weeks to law enforcement and ask them to commit to what Senate Bill 192 says, that if you have your syringes there in the car and your paraphernalia and you declare that you have it when they pull you over and you are not showing signs of being under the influence, then they would not automatically arrest you because you had drug paraphernalia on you. There is no set date for the program to open, but officials hope to have the program up and running soon. Reporting from Prestonsburg for EKB News, I'm Sean Allen.